Hello, parents. Thanks for joining me on this episode of the Fast Math Freebies at Home Edition. Do you have a third, fourth, or fifth grader live in the state of Florida and want to help your child prepare for the Fast Math Assessment in May? Well, if you're answering yes to all three of those questions, you are in the right place. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I am a former Florida public school teacher on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. For years, I've been creating resources with teachers in mind. And now I'm expanding my impact to create affordable and engaging math video lessons and practice for you to use at home with your child. The following free episode is actually a part of a free course. So all you have to do is click the link in the description box, enroll in the course today, and you'll have access to all of the fast math freebies, the video lessons, and the printables for this grade. And now it's time to dive into that free episode. So let's do it. All right, third grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video, try this one on your own first, then come on back to check your work. Welcome back, third grade. Let's go over this one. So this one says to select all the letters that have exactly one line of symmetry. A line of symmetry is when you can make, create a line and if you were to fold on that line, you would have mirrored images on both sides, mirrored images on both sides. So when we're looking at this, we have the letter D and the letter D has a line of symmetry right here. So if you were to fold those two halves together, like top to bottom, they would have mirrored images. So yes, this one has exactly one line of symmetry. For the letter R, how many lines of symmetry did you find? It should be zero. There are zero lines of symmetry, so we can eliminate that one. All right, looking at the letter M, how many lines of symmetry did you find? One is correct. It would be right here. Is that what you had? All right, if it is, great. If not, go ahead and make that correction. And also, we need to make sure that we select that one. For the letter S, how many lines of symmetry did you find? All right, it is actually zero because if you were to create a line going straight down and fold it, they would not be mirrored images on each side. The same would be true if we went from side to side. Right here, it kind of looks like there could be lines of symmetry, but if you were to actually fold it, they would not match up. So for the letter S, we can eliminate that one and there are zero lines of symmetry. Now, how about this letter H? How many lines of symmetry did you find? Okay, let's see. Well, there is one right here. If you were to fold right there, that would be, and there is one going from side, oh, I'm a little high, a little low, side to side. So there's actually two lines of symmetry for this one, which means, can we select this answer? No, because we're looking for answers that have exactly one, one line of symmetry, and H has two, so we can eliminate that one. So your answers are D and M, the first and third choice. Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, if you're looking for the principle that goes along with this video, you can enroll in that free course today, which gives you access to this video and the printable and all the other videos that I've created, the Fast Math freebie episodes, all in one place for you. And you know what? If you're anything like me, it's out of sight, out of mind. I know that you're busy, so why don't you go ahead and do that now? That way it's off your plate, you take care of it, and you can get your instant access today. Thanks again, and I cannot wait to see you inside the free course.